Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video for the Bitcoin technical analysis. What I have here is the chart for Bitcoin versus USD and these are the one week candles from Bitstamp. So yesterday I was doing an update for Bitcoin. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, if you want, go ahead and, and watch it before this one. Uh, what I was basically comparing is the situation for Bitcoin today with the bubble that we had in Bitcoin back in 2014. And you can see that uh, the situation is very similar. So we went up parabolic and then we had this big crash and then we had a, a quick recovery uh, near, nearing all time highs. And so we can compare it with uh, the situation today where we went up parabolic, we had a big crash and then a quick recovery going near all time highs. And now this is very similar to any other bubble in history. I have been showing this bubble model for a um, long time now. So uh, what we have here is very, very typical in bubbles that we drop. And this is called bull trap because all the bulls are buying this dip, which causes the price to go up. And when the price goes up, uh, people, uh, more people start joining in because they, they think they're going to miss out if they don't buy. So everybody starts to buy more and more and it causes the price to pump. And so we can see here in the bubble model how it says here bull trap. And then uh, in this uh, lower peak, it says return to normal because people think that we're uh, returning to normal and we're going to break all time highs and continue to go up. We can compare this to uh, almost any bubble in history. I have here the chart for uh, Apple. This is the Apple stock in the year 2000 during the dot com bubble. And we can see it follows the same patterns. It goes up parabolic, then it has a big drop here. And then uh, the bulls start to buy this dip, which, which causes the price to go up. And then it goes up like trying to find the all time highs and break it but it doesn't happen and then it crashes for good now it's typical in bubbles to have multiple bull traps and multiple comeback phases this is called the denial phase of the bubble where, where people still don't believe that the bubble is uh, coming to an end and people usually believe that this is only the beginning of the bubble because we come from a very long bull run and we had many crashes on the way so they think that this is just one more and then we're gonna recover and go back to normal and in every crash people believe the same thing this is called the denial phase which we can see in the bubble model Every stage of the bubble represents uh, one human emotion. Uh, we start with greed and then delusion, then denial, which is where we are right now. And then fear, capitulation and despair at the very end, uh, where all the people that it's been buying the dips and then they kept losing and losing money. And then eventually in the despair, they uh, sell at the very bottom for very, very cheap, uh, losing a lot of money. And this is where the smart people uh, is actually buying. And that's where the smart people at the very beginning was buying. And these up here, the highs is where the smart people is selling to the new people um, who is buying the dips. So going into the analysis, let's go and see the 2014 chart. <clears throat> If we are somewhere here today in 2017, in this area here, um, this is for all the people that still think that we are in a bull market. Uh, so if we are in a bull market and we are here today, imagine we don't know what's going to happen in the future, right? We are here, we don't have this part of the chart yet. But if we believe that we are in a bull market, then uh, we have to agree that, the, that this uh, ascending support line, uh, which goes from where the parabolic movement has started to the um, to this new low to this new low that we the, it was just created here so we have to agree that this line will hold the price right so we bounce in this line once uh, creating the low and then we bounce up and then now we have to expect this line to hold the price right but what happens when the price touches this line and this line has to hold the price? This line doesn't hold the price and then we have a very huge sell off. This is how bear markets react and this is uh, how bubbles react always uh, for any bubble of any asset in any time uh, in history. So uh, the price didn't, uh, so this line didn't hold the price in 2014. And now we're going to have to test this line in 2017. So I draw this line here yesterday. So let's see what happens when the price touches this, uh, this line. Now, uh, another um, piece of information that I got from the 2014 bubble 
is that after we had the, the top of the bubble and then we had this, uh, this second uh, lower high, I was able to draw a uh, descending resistance from the very top where the candle closes to the next high. And this line, it's perfectly telling us how long the bear market is going to last in the future, right? This line is broken exactly at the bottom of this, uh, of this bubble crash. So I did the same in 2017. I said in my video yesterday that as soon as this, this candle closed, I would draw this line and that would be an indicator of, of how long the bear market is going to be um, ahead in this 2017 bubble. And so far, we have this estimate. According to this, uh, this is going to be for around one year. This is being very optimistic because now um, the price, uh, until it touches this line here, this ascending support, uh, we have several weeks ahead. So any candle can close above of this previous candle. So if the candles close above this one, then I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to adjust this descending resistance accordingly. So that could make the bear market uh, even longer. For what I can see so far. Um, everything seems to point uh, that we're going to have a long bear market like we, like we had here after the 2014 bubble. Now, this is not what I want and this is not what I'm wishing. Uh, I have been making very easy money um, during all this bull run like everybody else. So believe me, it's not what I want for Bitcoin. Uh, I have been around uh, for a long time. I lived this bubble through and actually I created this Facebook page uh, back in 2013. I don't use this Facebook page anymore, so I'm, no pro I'm not promoting this page. Uh, please don't like it or don't join it because I don't update it. Uh, it's only to show you this example that I created uh, this page in 2013 when I discovered Bitcoin. I discovered Bitcoin in the middle of 2013. I started studying and I was fascinated and I'm still fascinated today. And so after a few months of studying and following, I decided to get involved, uh, of course, in the middle of the bubble, like uh, probably some of you right now. So I bought Bitcoin right after the bubble popped. I bought Bitcoin for six, when it was $600 per Bitcoin. And anyways, I started this Facebook page. I wanted to show you so that I'm, you see that I'm not bullshitting anyone here. Uh, I'm logged into Facebook. See, this is my page. And um, see, I remember exactly that every single day we had news from mainstream media talking about Bitcoin. I have this article here from Forbes.com. I had this article here about the famous pizzas bought with Bitcoin uh, from the New York Times. Uh, another article from the New York Times. Um, <clears throat> this, is this is CNBC News. Um, this is CNBC again, Bitcoin org, a little logo that I made for Christmas, uh, more New York Times, um, this one is Forbes.com, CNBC, Forbes.com, New York Times, another Forbes, um, Wall Street G Journal, CNBC, I mean, huge news for Bitcoin every single day. I remember, um, this news, maybe I passed it now. It was uh, overstock accepting Bitcoin. That is huge. That is almost like, that's huge news, right? So um, I remember the hype back then and everybody thinking and saying uh, Bitcoin is not in bubble. We are just in the beginning of it because uh, nobody knows uh, the, the global population in general. Only 1% of people knows about Bitcoin. Then how come uh, it can be in a bubble? That's not true. Other bubbles start when, when everybody uh, is using it. For example, the housing bubble is it's in a bubble because uh, your neighbor is buying a house, your other, uh, your brother is buying a house and everybody's buying houses. So this is how bubbles are created. But how can Bitcoin be in a bubble if no one knows about it? And if all the, the mainstream media is talking about this, this means we are in the beginning of something, right? Wrong. Because if you see all these articles are actually from the end of December 2013. The top of the bubble was in November 2013. So this was actually one month after the bubble had popped. It was right popping. So do you think Bill Gates is going to wait for uh, the Wall Street Journal to tell him 
when to buy Bitcoin. Do you think he, uh, the smart money is going to wait for CNB, for CNBC uh, to tell them uh, get into Bitcoin because it looks like a very good investment? When the mainstream media is telling you you should buy Bitcoin because that's basically what they say, you know, these are like advertisements. When you see this in the mainstream media, you should be selling, not buying. This is when the bubble has popped because less people knew about Bitcoin in 2013 than today. Yet we had a bubble form and burst. It's very, very clear to me that we are in the denial phase in the bubble. Hopefully this is going to help uh, some people not lose too much money. Uh, I don't think uh, we're going to see another all-time highs for this bubble. And even if we touch all-time highs, it'll be like $3,020 or $3,012. It could be. It happens in bubbles sometimes. You just touch all-time highs, uh, like barely, and then um, you crash again. And it's very normal to have uh, this huge uh, volatility, bull traps, and then come back to normal. And everybody think uh, we're going to hit all-time highs and break it and go to $1 million Bitcoin. I have seen this movie in 2013, and I'm just watching it again now. So guys, um, it amazes me how uh, some people on YouTube, they claim that they live through uh, all the Bitcoin crashes, and they are still recommending people to buy the dips. I just uh, can't understand that. Please guys, leave your comments below if you want, uh, correct me uh, or not. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.